So about a decade ago, Naomi Eisenberger and I set out to test whether social pain is more than just a metaphor. And we asked people to lay in uh, an MRI scanner, so we were taking pictures of their brain, while they played what they thought was a um, simple ball tossing game with two other people that they thought were also in scanners. And if you were in the game, you'd control this little hand at the bottom of the screen. And whenever the ball came to you, you would simply press a button to decide who the ball was going to go to next. Really boring stuff. Not a very exciting game. But then something interesting happens. Uh, the other two players who were actually controlling stopped throwing you the ball forever. You never get the ball again for the rest of the game. And, uh, and what we found was sort of two things that we thought were pretty fascinating when we looked at the brains of these individuals. So uh, when we looked and looked at what was going on when these folks were being rejected, we saw that the same brain regions that register the distress of physical pain, how much you're sort of bothered by some physical pain experience, were also more active when people were left out of the game compared to when they had been included. Moreover, the more an individual told us they felt bad about being left out of the game, so the more social distress they experienced, the more uh, these responses were sort of amplified in those particular individuals. And if that doesn't persuade you that social pain is real pain, and I know it won't for all of you, consider this. Uh, what we in the US call Tylenol, what you call paracetamol here, makes these effects go away. 